The Heating Miracle Fronius Own Pilot. Hello, everybody, and welcome to today's Fronius webinar. I want to kindly welcome you to another uh, opportunity to boost your knowledge on Fronius products. Today, we have got the Heating Miracle Fronius Own Pilot, which we will go into detail about all the things which are important regarding it. The team today consists of me. You can see it today. I am live via the camera. I'm still in home office, uh, uh, as you can see. And on the other line, there is my colleague Christoph, which you can also see on this picture here. This is Christoph in the back. So he will support me today in the chat. So if you have got any questions during the webinar, please feel free to just address them to my colleague Christoph. He will give you immediate response and reply to your concerns and questions. Good, but before we start with the webinar, uh, I have prepared a quick poll for you. So I would like to address following questions to you. So do you already have some experience with Fronius own pilot so far. So there are three possibilities. Uh, possibility one, yes, I already installed it. Uh, second possibility, I have heard of it, but no concrete installation so far. And the third possibility is, no, it is completely new to me. Uh, I'm a big, complete beginner and a Fronius Beginner. Good, I see that many of you are voting. So I'm getting a lot of feedback at the moment, just waiting one or two seconds before I will close and of course show you the results of the poll. Okay, thanks so far. I think everybody has voted or nearly everybody. I will close the poll now and show you the results. So uh, the majority of you has heard of the own pilot so far, but no concrete installation so far. And the other 20% are separated. Uh, one part already installed the own pilot and the other one, yes, it's completely new to them. So thanks a lot for your participation. That's very important for us for future webinars. And we are always uh, looking for your feedback uh, and um, striving for improvements. Good. So wouldn't it, it be nice if uh, the main heating system is not needed? So that's kind of the first uh, thought uh, I would like to give to you. Uh, and I would say that everybody will would admit to this. Of course, it would be nice uh, if the main heating source is not needed anymore for generating hot water. And therefore, we from Fronius have got the appropriate solution with our Fronius own pilot. Uh, it is possible up to eight months uh, in Central Europe, in regions with higher irradiation, even more, you can make the hot water uh, out of your solar PV system without any main heating system uh, up to eight months a year. So that's the Fronius own pilot, our hot water solution, our heating solution, the heating miracle Fronius own pilot. So how is it about with generating hot water with the sun? So we always talk here at Fronius about sector integration. So it's very, very important for, uh, for us to not only target the sector electri electricity. So we want to go one step ahead. Of course, we want to target the sector uh, heating uh, with, with uh, our product, the own pilot. And also we are targeting into mobility so that we have sector coupling for the complete personal energy transitions we want to realize together with our customers. 
This here is a screenshot of our Fronius Solar Web portal. So the Fronius Solar Web is our monitoring of, of the PV system. What can you see here? Uh, this is a production curve or, or production uh, diagram of a, a PV system, the energy balance on daily basis. This is a very good day. You see a very clear curve throughout the day where our uh, PV system is operating pretty good. What you can see here, uh, I would say wildlife underlaid, that's kind of the power of the own pilot. So that means uh, the gray underlaid part is the, consu the consumed electricity, electricity directly. That means this is the energy which is directly needed within the household to supply the loads. And the other one, this wildlight underlaid uh, graph here is the power to the own pilot. And what you can see on first sight on this picture, uh, a real big part of the overall production uh, on a daily basis is directly going into the own pilot. And you can really continuously use every single watt of surplus energy for hot water preparation in your household. You can also see this on a, on a monthly basis in SolarWeb. So Frodo SolarWeb is really versatile. That means you have a lot of possibilities to have the views here. Uh, and one view is also the monthly view. And again, here you can see on the bars that with an own pallet, you can really get the most out of your PV system and really raise your self-consumption throughout the year uh, with minimal investment costs. Effectively, like I told over the year, this means that the months from March to October, uh, the main heating source of your household can be left out and you can really use this month's 100% for your hot water generation in your household. And that's, of course, a real high benefit uh, when it comes um, to money. Of course, you can save effectively costs on that. And also, uh, you do not need your main heating source uh, within this month. So that's also uh, a key pro for the Fronius own pilot installation. Okay, wouldn't it then also be nice to extend the lifetime of the main heating source? Uh, I have mentioned it before already. Of course, this is also, I think, uh, everybody of us uh, can uh, admit to this. Uh, that would be, of course, very nice. And effectively, we also can provide this uh, with our Fronius own pilot in installation because coming back to this slide, coming back to this eight months again, so the main heating source uh, is, uh, is therefore not needed anymore for this eight months. And this turns in a massive lifetime extension. And of course, is another big benefit of Fronius own pilot installation, the extension and prolongation of the lifetime. What does that mean? Uh, I would say in central, in a typical central Europe household, the, during the summer months, there is the main heating source only in uh, operation to create hot water for uh, hot water usage, of course, in the household. And therefore, this is one, um, I would say, common example, which we can see here. So the main heating source has a, a tank of 60 liters of water, which he heats up and then transfers the, the hot water to the hot water tank, which is um, most of the time about uh, 300 liters. And therefore then the, uh, the pathway goes to, to the hot water usage. That means uh, you have got three steps in, in a typical system which runs throughout the year from January to December uh, like this, uh, even if you only use during the summer months the main heating source for the hot water generation. With the Fronius own pilot, we can now simplify this process. Uh, so 
Uh, in our case, we do not use this uh, main heating source anymore for hot water generation during the summer months. So it is easily possible to say, okay, we do not need the main heating source, we just uh, add the Fronius own pilot to the hot water tank, di directly connect it to a heating rod, and then we can directly give the surplus energy from the PV generator uh, on a, a regulation, a dynamic regulation, and directly store the surplus energy via hot water. And therefore, this is a real benefit uh, for this. Yes, so you can eliminate the hot water, uh, the main uh, heating source for a great extent of the year, and therefore have massive savings. This results, of course, uh, in extent of the lifetime. I've already mentioned it. And therefore, this is a pretty good investment for your household. Of course, there are a lot of factors which have impact on this energy savings. So uh, this is a typical example with the eight months in Central Europe, but it's very much depending on your site and your location and which could potentially make the calculation even better. Just think you're maybe in country where uh, there are many more hours of sunshine a day, uh, maybe in the southern uh, atmosphere. Also, uh, you have got a location where which is much better, much higher irradiation. So, for example, we calculated for a typical central European installation where we have approximately uh, 2, 000, uh, 1,200 kilowatt hours yield per kilowatt peak. So that's, uh, of course, maybe in your country even better and also makes the economic consideration uh, much more feasible. The type of main heating source, uh, there is also a differentiation because uh, sometimes it's gas-based, it's oil-based. So also the prices for this um, these fuels are kind of different. And therefore, this can also be uh, a factor which has got uh, an infect, impact. Also, the consumer behavior, that means when do you use the hot water, uh, typically, uh, or also the number of residents, that means how many household people live in their house, in your household, that are also factors which have got impact. Shading and self-consumption ratio, uh, again, and last of all, the size of the PV system, of course, when it gets bigger, you've got more chances, more opportunities to integrate uh, this hot water generation. And of course, for all these factors, we have got the appropriate solution with Fronius. You are on the right side with the Fronius own pilot. You can really fulfill all the needs or the requirements to the greatest extent and really save money uh, on a yearly basis and also on uh, the overall lifetime of the PV system. And therefore, this also brings me to the next question, how to save a lot of money. Of course, money is very important for us all. We all want to save money. We all want to get the best out of our PV system. And therefore, I think this is also uh, a question um, which is, um, you, you can admit to 100% that this is very important. And uh, think back to our traditional hot water treatment process. Um, Therefore, it's also very important, uh, just think of that, that during the summertime, the main heating source is only working for this hot water generation. So it all the time has to go up from zero to 100, more or less. And therefore, with every complete heating up process, you face a lot of losses, a lot of thermal losses. Uh, and therefore uh, also need a lot of energy to get up the system at the level where we can then uh, uh, effectively afterwards can use the hot water in the hot water tank. Yes, and therefore uh, you can effectively save money through less thermal losses because uh, you do not have this intermediate step with our phone, phone is own pilot. The own pilot is directly connected to the hot water tank and gives exactly on a wet uh, on a, on what what basis 
dynamically the surplus energy into the hot water tank. Good, and uh, again, this applies for the eight months a year where the own pellet prevents heat and energy losses. Uh, coming back to the slides, up to eight months uh, in a central European installation, you can therefore meet the energy demand for hot water and electricity purposes. Good, let's, uh, but so much to a theoretical point of view. Let's have also a look on a real time example. That means what can really be changed by an own pellet. So for this one, I have taken into consideration a typical Central European household. So that's with an average consumption and this family or this owner of the PV system decided at the end of April that he wants to integrate a own pilot into, into the system. He wants to optimize his system and therefore get the most out of it. So if we now look on this, you see here, no own pilot so far uh, installed, only energy to regret. That means that's the feed-in energy, which is green underlaid and the consumed directly energy. And if we now <clears throat> install at the end of April the, the own pilot, you see a massive change in the graph and therefore you really raise your self-consumption and you get the most out of your PV system. Um, you see here, this is the installation date and we have a complete different picture in the Fronius Solar Web. And also this is something you definitely uh, also uh, have to consider uh, economically because you have massive savings throughout the year with the Fronius on pilot. And um, looking at the, and the demand, so that's approximately 10,000 kilowatt hours per year uh, with this installation. If we then look on the effective savings, that means we can save with the solution uh, around about 2,000 kilowatt hours uh, for hot water generation per year. And that's, I think, a really, really uh, much energy which can be saved with one simple installation of the own pilot. And also what is becoming more and more important because also our customers want to get independent from gas and oil. That means you can also effect and save effectively on that uh, with your main heat for your main heating system where you get independent from uh, fossil fuels. And that's also another key pro argument for our own pilot solution. And what is also mm, not negligible, uh, I would say, is that we have also take into consideration with the main heating source that you have to do maintenance. So uh, main heating source isn't maintenance free, so there are different um, periods where we have to do a regular maintenance. If you, of course, um, do not need the, the main heating source throughout the year or to a great extent of the year, you can also save money on that uh, because less maintenance means, of course, less money. And with our own pilot solution, you are more or less uh, maintenance free. So this works from day one on without any maintenance. And therefore you can also have this uh, as a cost factor uh, with the own pilot. So to conclude, uh, we've got less thermal losses. We can save massive kilowatt hours uh, for hot water generation per year. Uh, also gas and oil savings, we're getting independent from uh, fossil fuels. And therefore also the maintenance topic, I think this is also very important because that's also sometimes a big cost factor if company have to come, have to come and do maintenance on that, uh, you can reduce uh, costs on all these factors. And wouldn't it also be nice to get the most out of the PV system? Of course, yes, that would also be nice. So I'm in the trainings team, I do all the time trainings for Fronius and I always tell the customers or our installers with the Fronius own pilot 
that would be kind of the first optimization, the first step to improve a PV system. You see again one slide here. So that's kind of the, I would say, typical installation outside. You see uh, you have a lot of lots of power to the grid and only less energy which is consumed directly and therefore uh, especially in our region if you feed in all all this energy you kind of um, give the energy away for free because the feed-in tariffs are very very low you hardly get any money for feeding in the tariff and therefore of course you lose every day every hour a lot of energy with systems like this therefore it's uh, i would say would be long time overdue to install a fronius own pilot as a first step to improve the system and this would uh, look like the situation after uh, uh, after the installation of the own pilot so we see a massive change regarding the self-consumption and this also means we do not give away so much energy for free. We use it to the greatest extent in our own household and therefore we get the most out of the PV installation. Also, you see here on a yearly comparison, so we have had the daily comparison, uh, we have had the monthly comparison and also with the Fronius Solar Web, our monitoring tool you can have a yearly comparison which you can see here and this has also a, a big influence on a yearly basis just look at the bars uh, we have really got a, a, a increase of self-consumption of about 75 percent you see first year was without own pilot and um, in 2017 and 2018 the own pilot was already installed and we could really uh, increase our self-consumption ratio of up to 75%. Okay, so the own pilot application is a key element for Fronius uh, when it comes to sector integration, sector coupling. So you maybe all of you know our vision. Our vision is 24 hours of sun. That means we want to make uh, the energy of the sun 24 hours usable for our customers. Therefore, we are really striving uh, and working hard day by day to reach this target, to reach our vision 24 hours of sun. And also the own pilot is, uh, I would say, a step. It's a small step in this uh, total vision, but it's a very, very important step that we can reach our target and our common vision regarding 24 hours of sun. And this is, uh, I would say, sector integration par excellence. You can see here on one picture where we have got all sectors integrated. And this one is the own pilot uh, where it comes into the game more or less, where we have an own pilot installation with direct connection to a heating rod and a hot water tank. What is crucial for such uh, overall installation and overall systems? Uh, it is the Fronius Smart Meter. So we uh, highly recommend uh, for any Fronius installation to install a Fronius Smart Meter at the feed-in point. That's very, very essential when it comes to energy management, when it comes to full monitoring also in our Fronius Solar Web portal. So please be sure for every installation doesn't necessarily have to be implemented in on pilot there or battery. Uh, please be sure for every installation, um, we highly recommend you to install Fronius Smart Meter at the feed-in point. And therefore, of course, uh, we look again on a real life example. I would give you on the sector integration we already were on this topic uh, with the Fronius own pilot uh, installation at an average household uh, and its impact over the year. Uh, I already told you that. So it's a real turbo for the self-consumption ratio and therefore you have got the massive savings. Concrete, what we are talking about, 
uh, uh, regarding uh, the consideration of one year, you have got plus 66% self-consumption, which minimum investment costs. So a home pilot is really, really cheap, a really cost um, cost efficient solution to for PV system improvement. And also you can have massive savings uh, on hot water uh, for hot water generation a year on this specific example, this 1,900 kilowatt hours. So that would be always the first step with the hot water generation. But we have, we have got a, a full picture like you can already see here. And we also want to include all of these aspects uh, to reach our target, the 24 hours of sun, and also to move sector integration forward. And therefore, also maybe the second step would be the battery storage um, with our hybrid inverter. So regarding this, a um, lot of new things are coming up in the future with hybrid inverters and storage. And this also has, of course, a big impact on the on the on this graphs and this demonstration. Just look here. We have again a comparison out of the solar web and if we would now install such a battery solution uh, together with the own pilot uh, we will have of course again a massive increase in the self-consumption and therefore what we are now talking about nearly 100 percent of self-consumption is already possible so there are systems outside uh, this is no longer a theoretical stuff so this is really something we can realize together today at this moment uh, to make 100% of solarization possible with uh, these solutions. Yes, and with this, uh, I already mentioned it, uh, 95 to 99% autonomy in summer. Just, just look at these figures. This is really uh, incredible figures uh, are possible. So you can really use nearly all of your energy yourself and really target the other sectors uh, and therefore combine these solutions. And the overall picture, which is also becoming more and more popular in uh, Central Europe, especially I'm talking from Austria, uh, is this mobility sector. In this case, uh, we've got a cross bike here standing and so we also want to target this and uh, of course mm, customers uh, are highly interested in it because uh, it makes sense if you have got your PV system to also use the, your own energy in your, in your tank for your electrical vehicle or your uh, other application like here the cross bike that definitely makes sense. And also here I want to show you a reference which is already uh, in operation mode. So that's from Germany, uh, some system data. Uh, what is uh, so special about it? Yes, we have got there uh, our Simo hybrid, uh, one Simo and one Simo hybrid installed together with a storage solution from Fronius. And you can see here on the picture there is also a, uh, a EV charging solution installed. In this case, it's a hardy part. That's a dynamic surplus charging uh, for the EV. And therefore, you reach self-sufficiency levels of 90%. And this is a really impressive number, which is uh, already installed outside, which is running in real time. And is really, I would say, impressive installation. And yes, so much to the key advantages of the Fronius own pilot. Now I want to sort out some technical details with you. I think this is also important for you uh, that you kind of get an insight in all these uh, technical specifications. Maybe one um, would say the most common type where we use the own pilot is for uh, heating rods. That means in directly to the own pilot, there is a heating rod uh, combined. It's one phase, there's the possibility on the one hand one phase and the three phase. 
So one phase up to three kilowatts and three phase up to nine kilowatts. What is important if you look at this uh, wiring diagram, uh, the neutral conductor must be carried out. So that's the only, I would say, thing you have to consider when choosing a heating rod um, that the neutral must be carried out. And also you should not have any active electronics, any power electronics on this heating rod because uh, stepless regulation, that means according to your surplus energy, it goes one to one into the heating rod. And therefore, if there is any power electronics within this heating rod, there could, uh, there could errors occur and therefore just take this into consideration. There is a list on our homepage. We have some recommendations for heating rods. We have very good experience with, but of course we are therefore really open to some, I would say third party uh, heating rods and partners and nearly everything is possible to combine. But the own pilot is called own pilot because you can also include other ohmic loads. So the heating rod, I would say, is the most common uh, installation, but that doesn't exclude other ohmic loads. So you can also, for example, include various infrared heaters or tall radiators or electric floor heating systems like you can see here on the picture. But that's also a thing you can easily connect to the own pilot and where you can give the surplus energy to it uh, steplessly regulated. One configuration scheme, I would say, also very important for installers um, to have this in your mind and to remember it when, it when installing it. What is really, really important is this Fronius Smart Meet at the feed in point. This is only a bi directional energy meter which measures the energy consumption, uh, all the energy flows from the grid and to the grid. But that's only the basic information our inverter needs in order to know okay, now I have got PV surplus energy and now I can, in this example, give the energy to the own plot. So that's a prerequisite um, for every installation. So please be sure for every from this installation to install this one at the feeding point because you never know if you have customers uh, who want at first step only PV system, but maybe want to integrate at the later stage home pilot or a battery connection. And therefore this uh, from your smart meter is always important and just consider it. We are communicating with the smart meter to the Fronius inverter via Modbus RTU communication. That means we have got a data manager card within our Fronius inverter. That's uh, kind of our communication uh, we have got. And therefore, this is the RS485. And regarding the own pilot, you have got three possibilities how to communicate with it. It's possible via Modbus, that means you can do it via cable, uh, but it's also possible to implement uh, it into in the overall system via LAN or Wi-Fi communication. And you see here uh, what is also possible, you can add a temperature sensor, a PT1000 to the own pilot. That means we also can receive this information uh, and you can also implement this in the solar web portal, for example, that you have all the overview over the temperature developments. So much to the configuration scheme and one slide about the wiring of the Fronius on pilot. So that's basically the wiring uh, or how the on pilot looks in the inside. You have got uh, here a communication terminal you see here the modbus lines d plus d minus and ground the rs485 with, which goes to the data manager of our fronius inverter there is also one terminal for the pt1000 uh, temperature sensor which you can easily integrate in the boiler and of course get all the information on the temperature and uh, at the bottom you have got 
um, the AC bus, of course, uh, you see all this, this is uh, now one phase installation. What is so special about here? Uh, always one phase is always steplessly, steplessly regulated. That means uh, zero to three kilowatts. And if you have got, for example, a three phase installation, second phase is then, uh, is then turned on and only this one phase, phase one, is always steplessly regulated. Therefore, um, for example, if it, it, it exaculates uh, six kilowatts, um, the also phase three is turned on here. Technical data, I do not want to go into detail about that now, because I think that's something you can easily find on our homepage and also um, find in the quick guide, for example, when you purchase an own pilot. Uh, but you also receive the slides, of course, and can then look at all the exact details regarding voltage and amps and so on. Uh, I do not want to spend too much time on that. Some general information, uh, I always want to give you a really good hint. Uh, we have a very good YouTube channel. I've put a screenshot in here of an home pilot installation. So if you do it the first time, I can strongly recommend you to just watch this video. So it open access, it's on, it's on our YouTube channel. It's four minutes where everything regarding initial commissioning and initial com uh, installation of the home pilot is, uh, is shown. And therefore, I think this is really high valuable content you can use for free on our YouTube channel. Uh, our further information you can also find on our homepage. So we have all the installation and commissioning guides uh, in our download sections. Just check fronius.com where you can get all this information. And also maybe you can come by once to one of our trainings. So you know I'm in the trainings team and Christoph too. So we have uh, on a global scale uh, a really uh, good uh, possibilities to join a training. So we're doing a lot of national and also international trainings. So maybe you register once. Uh, I think currently uh, we had to cancel a lot of trainings due to the situation, but as soon as it is possible again, we are of course here for you for a live training today uh, or in the meantime, we are kind of using the time for virtual trainings like today and of course, but just stay updated on our homepage. We are definitely uh, near you um, soon and you can attend a live training if you're interested and we can go into more detail with the Umpilot. Before we close, uh, I quickly want to ask my colleague, uh, Christoph, who also was part of the webinar, Christoph, did we get any questions from our participants you want to point out here now? Uh, yeah, um, we got a few of them and maybe I just pick out one or two questions to answer live now. So one of the questions which was uh, sent to me was about the data communication from the Ompalot to the inverter. And the question is, what should be preferably used there? So Sandro already told us that there are three ways to do this connection, either via Wi-Fi or via LAN connection, or there's also the possibility to use the Modbus RTU uh, with the RS485. Uh, so this connection is also possible. And the uh, answer is, of course, a cable connection is a cable connection. It's much secure if you imagine if there is any uh, grid outages and the connection is down and so on and has to restart. It's much more easier if we have a cable connection, but it's also, of course, uh, possible to do it otherwise if there is no way to, to run a cable. Uh, also, I want to point out there that the Modbus cable is the same as we connect the smart meter to the inverter. It's the simple three pole connection uh, which runs then to the inverter. And with Wi-Fi or with LAN, we connect to the network and the inverter has then also be connected to the same network and they are then communicating via this network. 
Yeah, and the second question I want to point out there is a very common question with which we or you in, as installer get a lot of uh, from your customers, I guess. Uh, what should I go for first? Um, should I go for the hot water generation uh, to increase the self-consumption or should it be the battery first? What should I target first? That's the question. And actually, that's a very, a very individual question with a very individual answer. First of all, there, there is a lot to be taken into account. Uh, what's the load profile of the customer? Uh, what's the PV system size? Do we have a lot of night consumption? Because, of course, if we have a lot of night consumption, there a battery is much more suitable. And uh, yeah, also one topic I want to point out there is for most of the people, the Ompa lot is uh, very fast to install and um, yeah, very cost effective solution in the first place. And if we look on the battery side, yes, it's it's a little bit more expensive, but also there it's becoming much and uh, much more more cheaper. If we look on the battery prices from two years ago, for example, we got a lot down from that. So looking at the new BYD premium battery, which is also compatible with our hybrid inverters, for example. They are much cheaper and it's becoming more and more affordable for more customers. So it's a very individual solution for each customer. Both of them are, it's also possible to combine them, of course. Both of them are target, targeting the same way to increase the self-consumption. Yeah, uh, maybe one question I see here uh, is um, just to be sure the own pilot is controlling from zero to three kilowatt uh, steplessly. Um, yes, that's true. Um, it's, oh, sorry, it's not the full question. And the second and third phase are on and off. So actually the own pilot is controlling like this. We have three, uh, if we have a three phase output from zero to three, only the first phase is regulating steplessly and two and three are switched off. If we are going from three to six kilowatts, the second phase is turned on fully to three kilowatt. And the first one is then uh, regulating steplessly up to six kilowatt. And from six to nine, it's the same, but two and three are turned on permanently. So only the first phase is regulating Related, but because of that, we are still able to run from zero to nine in a steplessly uh, matter. Yeah, I, I hope I could answer uh, some of your question. Maybe not, Christoph, Christoph, we received many questions. Maybe there are two very interesting questions left. Uh, maybe could we could also give an answer on that. Is this okay for you, Chris? Yeah, for sure. And sure. The, the another question was. Uh, during the time when there is not enough power from sun, will the own pilot take power from the grid? Mm -hmm. That's a very good question. It's possible, but it's not the first target of the own pilot. The own pilot is always trying to keep the, the meter on the feed-in point to zero. So it's only the, the system is only using surplus power from the PV system. But what you can do is you can do a setting on the own pilot. If you say, for example, from three in the morning to six in the morning, I want to use my cheap energy tariff I have there to power up the boiler. Then you can set it there and the own pilot will run also with grid, uh, with power from the grid there. So it's an option, you can use it also to use power from the grid, but usually if it's turned off, it's only using the surplus power. Yes, and I would say the last question, uh, also very interesting. How does own pilot can control the gas heater? That means that the gas heater does not start when there is sunshine and wait for water being heated by the own pilot. Yeah, also very important and very good question. The Ompolot has the ability to control some primary heating sources 
such as a gas heater or the heat pump, for example, with a controlled output. It's just a, a, a two-pole signal cable which we can connect to the heating uh, source. And we can tell then the heating source there, okay, now we uh, it, it's below a certain surplus power. We use only the ampere lot. Um, and if we running uh, below a certain degree in the boiler, then we turn on the heat, the, the primary heating source also. So there are uh, different ways to control it, but it's possible with many other primary heating sources uh, to control it there. Okay, <laughs> thanks Chris for this very interesting uh, question and answering. Yeah. You're thank welcome. You also, guys, thank you also guys for your participants and your interesting questions. I hope that we could help you a little bit further and uh, introduce you to our hot water solution, to our heating miracle, the Fronius Ompelot. Thanks once again for participating. I wish you all the best. Uh, stay fit, uh, stay healthy, of course. And I hope we see us soon. And also, as long as we cannot see, I hope that we hear us soon again at the Fronius webinar. Just check our following webinar dates. Tomorrow we are continuing with, with them and wish you all the best. Have a pleasant evening. Goodbye.